Welcome back to a new video. So this was the third workout of the week. Third or fourth, I believe. No, it should just be the third or maybe the second. I've lost track of time, but I did muscle snatches, of course, on this day, and it was a little bit weird. I got up to 90, which isn't that weird, but then I missed it the first time. I was able to come back and make it on the second one, and then I walk away with the bar, not because I was done or leaving with the bar and going home because I was mad that I missed the one rep. I was actually pretty okay because I just kind of lost focus on the first set and or the first 90 attempt and then just left it out in front a little bit, but um, I was moving to the other platform, the regular platform. I actually don't mind lifting on this back one. The single worst thing about being on it is that I have to move all the plates back there to lift on it, but I actually like the like being in that corner. I can record from the front. I can't ever really record from the side, but I tend to like to record from this kind of front angle here. And um, yeah, there's the miss there. And <laughs> I was actually pretty close to being able to like finish and press it out, but I came back, got a little bit more hype, and was able to squeeze it up there. And then I just walk away with it. But after the muscle snatches, I had um, power plus hang power snatch. I think they're originally block power snatches. And instead of changing it to just double hang powers, I wanted to just do some pulls from the floor. So I did um, a power from the floor, then the hang power from above the knee. And they felt good for the most part. Um, it was interesting. Uh, once I saw uh, my roommate do, he was um, the only clip I recorded is him doing a muscle snatch with 70 kilos. And um, it was interesting seeing how his, far his knees are pushed out because we are built um, a lot differently. I'm a couple of inches taller, but our proportions are much different. He's much more, and you see there, he's much more built for squats, and I'm much more built for pulling, but it was interesting seeing his um, pulling mechanics on that. And then I just kind of left this clip running just because you kind of see that we share the bar. And I thought it was interesting that I picked up one of his lifts because um, he generally doesn't want anything um, recorded to, for him to see. He just kind of, you know, lifts for fun. But um, I record everything. But here's, I'm also talking to the other guy who knows weightlifting in the gym, Rick, over there. Um, and he's a historian, much like um, most people who like weightlifting, they kind of know the history of it. But he was a weightlifter when he was in his 40s. He's in his 50s now. And he was um, pretty good back in back when he was doing it. But now he just focuses. Um, I think he wants to bench press 315. But yeah, just, so just a power snatch and a hang power snatch for me. On this one, just 70, but we worked up to a top set of 90 on that. So I was pretty happy with that. Um, after those, I had pause above the knee, uh, clean plus jerk. And then they were one plus twos um, with 110, two sets with 110 and one set with uh, 115. They definitely were interesting. Um, doing the full cleans felt a lot better than trying to do powers. Powers with pause above the knee are really difficult, but when I do the full ones, I don't know why, but I just feel like I can just do it, uh, do a more technically correct rep. But um, it was interesting when I look at myself when the bar is um, at my hips or like making that contact, my knees are much closer together um, than my roommates, which is uh, just interesting just to see the biomechanical difference. But it's not something I'm going to ever really be able to. I don't even ne necessarily think I need something I need to fix just because we're built so different. I'm much longer um, than he is. So I'm obviously going to you know, lift weights different, but um, it's interesting to see that. But he's definitely a more quad dominant lifter and I'm a much more posterior chain dominant lifter and not just weightlifting, but just in every lift. But um, after the uh, clean jerk work, uh, the accessories I did today was actually some biceps and triceps, uh, more so triceps than biceps. I kind of just do a little bit of biceps if I do triceps, just to say that I did, but my focus is much more on the triceps, and I think it's good to obviously do both because of the balance of it, but um, that was a single arm. That was actually the other thing I remember doing with him. Um, I really like doing single arm stuff for if I do um, biceps and, and triceps and stuff, and really shoulder stuff with dumbbells and stuff. I think it's good to kind of get single arm stuff in um, when you're able to for accessory movements since it is much much more different than the main lifts um, and you can kind of feel which arm's weaker or whatever with that theoretically it'd be good for legs too but i just get so much volume in legs it's hard for me to really find a good day to you know do extra leg accessories when i'm already fatigued in my legs anyway i was really happy with how all these jerks felt um, which is why i was able to bump up to 115 on the last set so only three sets of that and overall a pretty quick and easy session but is one that I wanted to go um, to the gym to do just because it was quite cold on this day. So it wasn't one that I wanted to be out in the shed doing. I'm actually able to get two uh, shed, I almost said that wrong, shed sessions later this week uh, just because it was a bit warmer. And uh, one day it wasn't as warm, but then um, by Thursday of this week, 
when I'm recording this audio, it certainly warmed up a lot, which is really nice because I'll be able to be out in the shed a lot more and training hard. But this is my last set of 115. I was very happy with these jerks. The second jerk felt like a John North jerk where my lockout felt really weird, um, like not fully locked out, but it's not the best. But I mean, it doesn't look like I have any, you know, bent arms or anything. It just felt weird when I was holding it. But yeah, a productive day, but a relatively easier day of training in general. But these are the, the good days because I remember this being a day where I felt really tired and not really super motivated to train, but it's still nice to be able to go in and, and get some productive work done. But that's it for this one. I'll talk to you on the next video, and I hope you have a great day. Peace.